straight out to my very special guest, Gary Arnold, the missing woman's husband, who is pausing briefly in his desperate search for his wife to talk to us to try to keep this story out there, keep her face out there. Gary, uh, our hearts go out to you. We hope and pray that uh, your beloved wife is found safe and sound. Uh, were you awake, sir, when your wife went out running at 6.30 a.m.? And tell us about those last moments, uh, the last time you saw her. Well, actually, I, I, was, I was awake when she went out, but I wasn't home. Um, Cher had been tired uh, a couple days earlier, and she said, let me sleep in tomorrow. And she says, you want to go out, go out, which meant I, I do a walk. And she meant go ahead out on your walk. So I'm an early riser. I got up at 5.30, went out for my walk. When I came home at uh, 6.30, I could see that she'd gotten up. I could you know, tell because the kitchen sink light was on, bedroom door was open, uh, and I could tell she'd <laughs> She brushed her teeth in the sink, and there were little droplets all over. And and uh, anyway, I knew she'd gone out for a jog. I didn't know it, which route, but uh, she never she never came home. Uh, early Saturday morning, Sherry went out for this run, and apparently it was one of her favorite routes. Uh, she was out on Ninth Avenue, according to published reports, which is on the very edge of town near factories and referred to as the truck route. And we're told, we've been investigating this, that thousands of large trucks pass through there to nearby oil fields and to factories. Beyond that, the town just ends and it's vast open space. So, um, Gary, what can you tell us about this area and how far away from the home was the shoe found? I, I don't know exactly. You'll have to talk to the police. Uh, Bob Burns would be a good one to talk to about that. I, I've never gone to the location they said they found that. Um, I, I don't know, but they'd, I'm sure, be willing to talk to you about that. Um, they haven't told you where they found the shoe? Well, they told me about, they, they said toward the east end of the truck route, and but, you know, not specifically. So I, those kind of questions, I'm going to refer to them because they, they'll okay. give you accurate, accurate information okay. more clear than well, what I can. Let me ask you this. and. Does she have any known enemies? Has she had an argument with anybody recently? No, not, there not that I know of. anything unusual? No, not that I know of. I, I don't know of who, who would want to harm her in any way. She is one of the best people I've ever known. Um, she's a good person. She's kind. She's sincere. She's loved. Uh, she's a great teacher. She's a uh, referee. She's a great wife and mother. I... I I don't know. I don't know. Did she take the same route every day when she jogged? Because certainly we've always warned women not to do that, only because somebody out there who may not have the best of intentions could find a pattern and, and wait for her. Did she do the same route? No, not not every day. In fact, she didn't jog every day. During the school year, it's kind of hard for her to jog in the morning before school. So what we do in, in the school year in generally is she and I go for a, a three-mile walk at night um, after school. Uh, but during the, the weekend, that's, of course, a little bit different. She has time to sleep in, and she has time to go for a jog. And, and she would frequently use either Saturday or Sunday or both to do that.